because when you stumble on stage, even if it's to say the dinner is served, you have to have some kind of a, uh, you know, subtext. You're coming from somewhere and you want to achieve something, right? So your character is always after something. And guess what? It's usually not what they're saying. That's subtext. So the notes you're playing aren't really what the music means. It is sometimes a contradiction of that. And, or you can create it. That's even more fun. You can play an opposite emotion and see where it takes you. That is a great thing to practice. I don't recommend just winging it in the middle of the performance because unless you're really in control, it can really sound weird. But um, for instance, you can play this waltz as a naive 16-year-old person, you know? perfectly legitimate way of playing it. You can play it um, as a um, sort of a seducer. told you that I'm thinking that I'm playing a seducer playing this, you probably wouldn't think, oh, he's a seducer. But it sounds really different, almost opposite of the other. But what enables me to do it is simply switching completely who the story, who the character is, who they are, where they're coming from, and what, what's happening to them. 